very hard in the past three years to implement with a great discipline our plan and our plan has been working. Uh, so we've been able to uh, uh, reach technical excellence, uh, a very good combined ratio, despite uh, many uh, losses, natural losses and man-made losses. And we're also able to continue the shift of the live business towards capital light products. So at the end, we're able to close this plan in uh, very good conditions. Now I want to dive into the property and casualty segment. Overall, uh, you saw the operating result rise 2.5% in 2018. Very strong growth in international, but Italy and France were more challenging. I want to hone in on Italy. You saw an 8.5% decline there in 2018. What was going on? Well, in Italy, uh, the competition on price on motor insurance is uh, very tough. So we are still dealing with this competition. We still have a very good combined ratio. We are able to keep our portfolio, but it's, it's challenging. And then on top of this in Italy, in Italy and in France, by the way, we had to face very important uh, claims, mad main claims, also natural catastrophes, which obviously had a significant impact on the operating result. And in your outlook, you highlight slowing growth in the Eurozone. What does this mean for your asset management business moving forward? The asset management business is growing. Uh, we've been increasing the earnings by uh, 24%. Uh, the net inflow uh, is very strong in our group, mostly in Europe with more than 11 billion euros. Our uh, life reserves are growing very fast. So we are uh, facing a significant growth of our business in both uh, life insurance, property casualty insurance and asset management uh, business in Europe. But moving forward, if the Eurozone does struggle the way we are expecting it to uh, as a market, what does this mean for asset management? Can it continue to grow at the same pace that we've seen this year? Well, you know, basically, uh, when uh, people do not invest in their business, they save money. If they save money, they need life insurance and asset management solution. So our business is very resilient because when people invest, when the economy is growing, property casualty business is growing. But when people do not invest because the economy is not growing, life insurance business and asset management is growing. Let's dig in a little bit to your Italian exposure. How much exposure do you have to BTPs? We have now uh, 55 billion euros. And do you think investors struggle with your high exposure to Italian bonds? Does it get in the way of your equity story? No, they do not struggle anymore on this. We have demonstrated that we have a strong uh, capital position. We have further increased our solvency ratio by nine percentage points from uh, 207 up to 216 percent. So our exposure to uh, BTPs is no longer an issue. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.